that doing? What's that doing? I love you. How's it going? Thank you. Hi everyone, it's Laura and I hope you're all doing well. So I got some of my Nutrition Labs back and I wanted to share them with you. I, every year, my the hospital I work for, they have a health screen. So you get your basic Nutrition Labs done, like your lipid panel and your glucose. And so that kind of prompted me to then want to know further how other things are like my iron and just a basic chem panel along with my hemoglobin, my immune system and things like that. So I thought it'd be fun to share with you all the results. So I have, so I kind of want to preface, I've um, been on and off a vegetarian for I guess like seven or eight years. Um, for a while there, I wasn't consuming meat all the time, um, or even every week, um, but I wasn't considering myself a vegetarian. I like went through a phase where I didn't like labels, <laughs> so I didn't like being labeled a vegetarian. I don't know. Now I'm fine with it, whatever, but, um, and so I guess... I, it was April of 2014, I went to one of my friend's birthday dinners and her boyfriend ordered steak tartare and literally that night I was like, I'm never eating meat ever again, I don't care what my label is, <laughs> I am just never eating meat for the rest of my life. And so I guess it's, I've strictly been a vegetarian the past like year and a half-ish. Um, but I've had vegetarian tendencies for quite some time now. Um, I eat a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables. I mean, you can check out my what I eat in a day videos. Um, I don't make it a priority to consume adequate protein. It just happens based on what I eat. I eat a lot of nuts and seeds. I eat a lot of beans, legumes. Um, I eat a lot of whole grains, which have a little bit of protein, and then fruit and vegetables. And the abundance that I eat them has quite a bit of protein just because I eat so much of it. Um, so I just wanted to preface my diet. I stay active. Um, I exercise frequently. Um, so yeah, let's get into my labs. So like I said, I started with the health screen. So this was... August 18th I got these drawn um, and these were fasting so my total cholesterol which I wasn't concerned with my cholesterol because I really don't consume that many animal products and or refined sugar um, but my total cholesterol was 134 which we like for it to be less than 200 triglycerides were 69 which we like for it to be less than 150 my HDL was 51 which we like for it to be at least 40 my LDL was 69, which we like for it to be less than 100. And then my hemoglobin A1C was 5.3, which we like for it to be less than 5.7. 7. About a month later, so September 15th, I went and got all these done. So my chem panel came back perfect. My electrolytes are good. My albumin was good, which is 4.1. So my protein's good. Um, Kidney function's good, liver function's good, and then my iron was good. My iron was actually slightly elevated, um, but it was all good. My vitamin D was good, which we like for vitamin D optimally to be at least 30, and mine was 33, which is good. Um, like I said, I did fasting glucose, and it was 85, which is good. And then my hemoglobin... It's actually 13.2, which is actually really good. My immune system looks good. Everything looked good. And then, let's see if it'll focus. And then everything else was good. And then all this I got done at the time of starting the job. It's like TB and 
peppy and stuff, chicken pox, whatever. So everything looked really good, which I'm really proud of and happy of. Sometimes it's nice to have that reassurance by seeing the numbers, knowing that what you're doing is good. Even though I know it's good, it's a lot nice to be reassured that my body thinks it's good too. Um, the only thing I wish I would have gotten done that I didn't was my B12, but I supplement it, so I know it's fine. And actually, research is coming out that vegetarians and vegans are actually less likely to become deficient than meat eaters just because we're more intentional about consuming it. Because you hear so much that B12, 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 because it's primarily found in animals, and so we're more intentional about making sure that we get it throughout the day versus meat eaters typically aren't, which is super interesting. Um, but anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. If you've gotten any labs drawn recently and you want to share, let me know. That'd be awesome. Um, also, leave me comments for recommendations for future videos because I'd like to make videos on what y'all like. <laughs> and so, um, if you have any suggestions, leave those down below and I'll be seeing y'all soon.